15. maijā. Gaisa spēku aviācijas bāzē lielvārdē Mičigans armijas nacionālās gvārdes 126. kavalērijas pulka bezpilota lidaparātu vada karavīri veica pirmo bezpilota lidaparāta RQ-7 šadal lidojumu Latvijā. ASV karavīri ir ieradušies Latvijā ar trīm. Bezpilota lidaparātiem, lai uzlabotu savietojamību ar Latvijas bruņotajiem spēkiem. This is specific to the Michigan National Guard, which is a partner with Latvia for 22 years through the state partnership program. So one of the things we're trying to do through this series of exercises, uh, Flaming Sword, NAMES, as well as Saber Strike, is for the U.S. participants uh, to bring what we call enablers, systems that the Latvians maybe don't have uh, within their military, but if they do deploy, uh, if they do have to interoperate with U.S. or NATO forces, these are the kind of capabilities they would have to learn and know how to use. So a piece of that we call ISR, Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance. And the platforms that do that range from very small unmanned aerial vehicles to very large manned systems. And what we have here is an example of kind of the middle of the road unmanned aerial vehicle, uh, the Shadow RQ-7 uh, 200 model. Uh, so what it does is it brings the capability for day and night cameras as well as um, some small uh, designators that people on the ground with NVGs can see and the bad guys who don't have NVGs cannot see. So what we do is we deploy these to Latvia, we go into your exercises and that allows your soldiers to use uh, video data link so they can see what the cameras are showing. It allows your intelligence officers to have this thing go uh, over to the target area that we're using in the exercise to see what's going on on the ground. Pasaulē speciālisti bezpilota lidaparātu raksturokā lidojoši ierīts, kurā neatrodas pilots, kurš ir cilvēks. Šādus lidaparātus parasti vada divos veidos, vai nu to dara borta dators, kurā ievadīta speciāla lidojuma programma, vai arī atālināti vadību veids cilvēks, operātors no zemes vai kāda cita lidaparāta. Parasti bezpilotniekus izmanto militārās operācijās, bet aizvien pieaug to civilēs lietojums, piemēram, policijas operācijās, uguns dzēšanā un uguns bīstam teritoriju novērošanā, glābšanas un drošības operācijās, kas saistītas ar civilajām interesēm. Bezpilotnieki kļūst neaizvietojami tad, kad jāveic, kā saka amerikāņi, dull, dirty and dangerous for men and aircraft, iespējams tūkot kā kad cilvēku piltātiem aparātiem jāveic vienmuļi netīri bīstami darbi, tad neaizvietojami ir bezpilota aparāti. We mainly use them just for reconnaissance. Um, also they can be used for battle damage assessment. Just reconnaissance is mainly for our commander when we're out on the battlefield. He can sit back in his uh, headquarters and he can still have eyes on the battlefield. Pilnībā uzpildīts lidaparāts svēra ap 180 kg. Šim konkrētajam modelim spārņu platums ir 4 metri. Tas var sasniegt maksimālu augstumu ap 4570 metru virs jūras līmeņa un var lidot ar ātrumu līdz 150 km stundā. Uh, if you're flying at your max altitude, um, it's going to be hard to see details. Um, and then during the day, you, there's a couple of different payload options. You got your normal vision, and then you have uh, infrared. And your infrared is all heat signature. Um, so you can actually see if, if somebody went out to the road and um, for Afghanistan, if somebody was digging, you know, digging holes in the road to bury an IED, we could actually see the heat difference from where the, the hole was dug. Um, so that's very useful at night. Uh, during the day, um, the higher you go, the less video quality that you have. Um, you want to stay somewhat lower so you can actually pick out some details. Michigan's National Guard and Latvijas Brunioto Spēku partnerība ilgst jau 22 gadus. Tās mērķis ir dalīties ar informāciju, uzlabot prasmes strādāt ar jaunāko ekipējumu un stiprināt strateģiskās spējas. Series of engagements planned. Uh, we just had so the S2, which is your intelligence officers. We just had Latvian intelligence officers here because they would be the ones that take the products, the video from the system, and then use that in the decision making. Uh, we have engagements with your joint terminal attack controllers, 
and your joint fires observers, the two guys they would call in airstrikes or artillery, because they can use this system to see their targets. Um, and they have a system called Rover, which is a video data link, which allows them to see what the UAV is looking at. Uh, we also have engagements with, with senior Latvian leadership uh, during the NAMES exercise up to and including you know, the ministerial level, where senior leadership now uh, can be in a room, have the video screen up, have a real-time situation, and it could range from a train that's derailed that has chemicals in it, uh, it could be a forest fire, um, and, it could, and it could be uh, any type of natural disaster, and it, and it could be combat. So whatever is happening, now we can feed live to the leadership exactly what's going on in the ground without endangering any other humans. And then they can see that, and then they have to learn how to use it and make decisions based upon that. Bezpilota līdaprāte R-7 Shadow 200, ko mūsu ASV draugi ir atveduši uz Latviju, kā projekts ir izstrādāts 2002. gadā. 2004. gadā tie pēc ASV armijas pasūtījumu sāk ražot, un tad arī 2004. gada beigās armija sāk tos apgūt, sakot aktīvi lietot aptuveni 2007. gadā. Shadows ražo un lieto arī šobrīd, tā kā tie ir moderni izlūkošanas aparāti. Paša korpus neaprīkot lidaprāta cena ir 750 tūkstoši dolāri. Aprīkots aparāts plus zemes vadība un visa sistēma kopumā maksā 15,5 miljonus dolāru. Mičigans armijas nacionālās gvardes 126. kavalērijas pūka bezpilota lidaprātu karavīru vats uz Latviju atvedis trīs šādas lidmašīnas. 